Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Rabby Ribby, and uh, I unintentionally got ourselves into the library, because apparently the game is a huge jerk like that, and it wanted to throw me into a into a room that into an area where I couldn't come back from. Because the game is just special like that. And why does why does this page feel the need to refresh itself every five minutes? It's weird. In any case, uh... Oof! Okay, I can do this. I did not know I could do that! Oh, goodness! How could I avoid the spikes there? Yeesh! Okay, I can't go directly to the left, so... Gotta keep going up. Also, I have no idea what these, what these blue areas do. Are they supposed to, like, fill up my, uh... My health or something? Fill up my, uh, stamina or something? Hmm. Oh, dear. That works! Cancel is doing surprisingly well. Yeah, there should be another uh, healing spot up ahead. Would you kindly let me hit you? Yeah, there's a healing spot here. Okay. Wait, how am I supposed to progress? Oh. Okay then. Well, that's good. Get a... Let me double jump! What is going on here? Double jump. Why won't it let me double jump? Oh, I see now. Okay. So I want to go left here, actually. Because there's another badge here. Okay. 
Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that, but... My, my amulets will refill pretty fast anyway, so... Oh, why wouldn't it let me do the air dash? It's weird. Okay, there it is. That was actually easier to get than I expected. Okay, so what does this badge do? Huh. Okay, yeah, so that's basically just a an auto bomb, but like a, a like auto bombs from other shoot 'em ups, it basically depletes all your we resources. So no, thank you. That being said, there should be only one more badge to find in this area. Oof. Yeah, the next heal spot won't be until I actually reach the the boss. Let me in. Thank you. Or you can just give me an enemy to farm off of. That works too. There we go. Wait. I don't think I can go back this way. Come back this way if I leave, so, uh... I'm not gonna chance it. Die, please. Thank you. Okay. Wait, what? That's it? I thought this place was going to be harder. <laughs> um, maybe I'm mistaken? Maybe they changed this room for, for the easier difficulties? Weird. Well, in any case... Let's do this, Iris. Let's put an end to this journey once and for all.
Does this mean Noah's been behind all this too? Yes, let's do this! Oh, she's already using her special attack? That's early. Oh, okay, this is this is not a good thing to have happen to me. Okay, she's in the background. There seems to be a slight flaw in your plan, Iris. interesting fight so far. Though it looks like uh, Iris is going to be one big HP sponge for the rest of the fight. Doesn't help that she has this... I got my stuff back. There's too much stuff going on screen here!
quite done yet? Okay, that's good. Managed to get her. Get the carrot to hit her. Random laser beams! Okay, sure. Almost down. This is gonna get really tricky. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Oh, now she's summoning clones of herself? Seriously? And they're getting... changing sizes? Well, this is a good place to restore my health, at least. Ow. 
now. Now what is going on? I'm getting hit with a load of debuffs. That was weird. Interesting, but weird. And oh, goodness, what are you supposed to do against that? Hi, Dan Maku. Sorry for not talking much, it's just when it comes to an intense fight like this, you really need to focus on the enemy, and not your commentary. But I think it's safe to say that, that, uh, Iris has earned her title of true last boss, even if it feels incredibly cheap. Well, thanks for, thanks for the free health upgrade. Oh, really? Now she's... What is... Oh, it's an... now it's an endurance challenge. Okay.
So we've gone pretty much from uh, normal true last boss territory to Toho last boss territory. Completely with a attack straight out of Flandre Scarlet's book. Oof. I have to say, after all the craziness that was the actual fight, I think this is a bit of a nice change of pace. Even if when most I'm most of the, what I'm doing is just dodging really slow bullets. Probably not the best idea, but hey, it misdirected some of the bullets. But that being said, I have no idea how you're supposed to do us on some of the higher difficulty levels, because holy cow, this, this looks pretty hard. Just, just the sheer length of the battle is just difficult as it is. is almost over, and, uh, yeah. There's no way I'm gonna lose this unless I really, really screw up, and I don't think that's likely. Oh, yeah, sure, I have two unbroken loops that I have to carefully jump around, and I guess that's it! Oh my! <laughs> okay, this is a cute little shout out to the one of the earlier scenes in the game. <laughs> well, good. Aww. <laughs> okay, and we guess we're back in Rabby Rabby Village. <laughs> oh, boy. 
poor Saya. She has the Curse of Kelm <laughs> from Fire Emblem Awakening. <laughs> Aww, that is so cute! <laughs> How would she be able to reproduce? I didn't see any guy guys aside from the person from uh, Lurkwood. Ah, eh, well, they probably just they probably know magic. They'll figure something out. <laughs> Being a tree, what? to her head. <laughs> and, uh, more credits. Definitely more credits. Oh, goodness. That was quite an ordeal. <clears throat> I mean, it wasn't as crazy as I thought it was, but... But since I was uh, playing on the lowest difficulty, I had some uh, leeway when it came to the library level. Iris, on the other hand, she really pushes your endurance to the limit. Had I taken too many more hits and not had the, the green shot equipped, I probably could have died during that fight. Thankfully, that wasn't the case, and I didn't need to heal either, so... Everything is fine, nothing is broken, and, uh, peace has finally returned to... to Rabbi Rabbi Island. And I hope it stays that way, jeez. Though, uh, from what I read, and what I gathered from the game as I got closer to the end, there are still a few things you could do in the actual game. There's, uh, three super versions of, uh, previous bosses you've seen. I'll probably do those, uh, later on. As well as, uh, taking a look at the boss rush, uh, stuff. Because that looks pretty cool. I want to see how well I can do with that. Though, knowing my current skills, probably not very well. As for the post-game as a whole, again, I really think it kind of... They kind of shouldn't have, uh, gone so overboard with the super durable bosses. And I thought that that Rumi was going to be like, OMG, the hardest boss ever, but no, she really isn't. I think Miriam was more difficult than, than Rumi. Heck, I think even Mira was more difficult than Rumi because you couldn't use Ribbon during that fight. Ribbon. 
Record upload. Okay, good. And I guess they're all having conversations? Oh, this is just, just a recap of what I did in the post-game. Excuse me. I would not mind replaying this game on a on the PlayStation 4 or Vita if, it, if those versions ever get released. I have to look into those. See if they're actually going to come out or something, because... They have not... I have not heard hide nor hair of those, and it's kind of worrying me a little bit. What else? Well... <laughs> yeah, my, sen my sentiments exactly, Arena. Also, uh, I don't want to know what happens if you try and get caught by that that. That, that's, that's pretty spooky. Hmm. Also, I don't think Irina ever told us if, or Iris ever told us if she was connected to those bunny cultists in a way. Because I thought that was a thing. Because she was like the only boss we didn't defeat. We didn't really defeat the bunny cultists yet. And it's like, okay, whatever. Okay, good. Another boss rush and boss rush mode. And speedrun mode. Good. <laughs> also, for uh, completing the post game, we get not one, but two badges the arena badge and the ribbon badge. About eight kilograms. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but hey, we finally collected all the items. Okay. Okay, so these basically just let you spam your attacks more often. That is useful. But I have not picked up this one badge yet. What is that? I'm guessing it's not really part of the... the 100% set because, uh... it didn't... it didn't count it for some reason? I need to look into this. I need to look into this. Okay. What does the wiki say? The wiki doesn't say anything about this. Weird. That is very weird indeed. So I'll have to do a bit of a research on that later. Hmm. What does Mira have to say? Oh! Okay, sure. Got all available buffs. <laughs> okay, so yeah, sure. Apparently, apparently, uh, apparently, doing a, apparently there is a purpose for having all that money around. Okay, that's that's great. That's very great. Why not go for one hundred percent? Okay, new target position adds to the map. New game plus to find that girl in Rabby Rabby Park. Oh yeah, there, there's these are the special bosses. Okay. So yeah, Coco, Ribbon, and Ashuri are now are now available for the special bosses. Um, might as well take a look at where they. Oh, that's so. That's the so. That's where you go to do new game game plus. Apparently, I need to check. I need to look into that. I need to look into that. But for now, I think I, it would be a good idea for me to save after all this nonsense. Holy cow! This was fun. This was really fun, and I and I want to kind of keep playing it. Though I though I kind of wish. This game as a whole had a little bit less difficult platforming. 
because some of it really is kind of tricky for me. I mean, it's not terrible, but still. So how is my map completion? Oh. 97%. Yeah, I'm still missing a few parts of the map, but I don't think it really matters at this point. I'll probably do that later on. But for now, I'm going to call this a video. So uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, have a good day and be safe.